Many people confuse feng shui with interior design. Interior design is creating a beautiful space with fabrics and furniture and beautiful images. So there is a technique to it and there are many, there are many techniques to create a beautiful interior design. Feng shui is not interior design. It is practiced sometimes by interior designers to bring energy towards the space they create. But feng shui, it is an energy system. It has principles, it has rules that are followed based on your birthday, based on the direction of your front door, based also where the property is in the landscape and connected with time energy and how the time flows. So feng shui can be used by interior designers, but it is a complete different system. Now, sometimes you have experienced that you looked at your home and you felt like the energy was not great and you started implementing some interior design changes. Now, it is possible that you feel better, but it doesn't mean you will have better luck because of good interior design. It's possible even that the change in the interior design created negative feng shui. This is one of the conversations I always have with my clients. I say, please let me first check out the energy flow of the house so I can share with the interior designers what are the best colors for you in your living room, for your family, in your bedroom, for you and your partner, for your office, connected with your team and then they can create a beautiful aesthetic environment. But I have seen so many times that I have to come in and say, this color affects your health or this position of your desk is wrong for you because you will have more concentration problems or more cash flow issues. And they say, yes, we actually experienced that. So you can have the greatest interior design, but the wrong energy. So before you start doing your interior design, learn about feng shui so you know what are the areas that are positive for you, which directions are good for your bed and your office, and what images work for you the best so that you harmonize these two beautiful disciplines. But you do not even need interior design to have good feng shui. Now, some people think in order to have good feng shui and good activations, they have to buy a lot of things, a lot of items. Well, you start first with what you have. In order to activate your success, health, relationship and wisdom, using pictures, using certificates, using the information you already have, using the items and objects you already have around you can totally work. I see that people, when they start using feng shui, will buy some plants and some crystals and, and they can just put it on their wish list for Christmas and their birthday and share with people, look, I'm looking for this and perhaps a friend or a family member has exactly what you need. So having good feng shui is first of all about making sure you have everything focusing the right direction and that you activate your home based on your personal energy. And that can be done with whatever you have in your home. So if you want to learn feng shui principles to shift your home energy for success, join me in the upcoming masterclass with Mind Valley. I hope to see you there.